Morning, Tony Torrance here for the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. Um, it's half pounder season and we're going to do a couple traditional half pounder flies. We're starting with a old school Mustad 3582BR. Um, these hooks are back. Um, they're difficult to come by. The Caddis has them in stock. Uh, limited numbers, so get them while you can. I'm going to start out flat oval or actually flat oval. It's oval Lagerton silver tinsel. Okay. The uh, butt on this fly, black chenille. Taking you back to the old days here. Some chenille in a fly. You strip off the uh, fuzzy part, get it down to the core. You know, two, three wraps is about all you need. Bring in my cautery tool and just clean that up a little bit. That way I don't end up with a big lump there in the body. Next, and these are, uh, these are medium chenilles, by the way, we're using on this small fly. They like these with kind of a fat little profile on them. So now we've got that. Make sure you don't leave a gap between your black and your red. Okay. Bring in my cautery tool again and clean that up. Silver rib around. Okay. No hackle on this fly, so we're just going to go right to the wing. Again, we are using the Arctic Fox White um, from Hairline. If uh, you haven't seen the blog before, we use a lot of this. You can get a full tail. Great winging material. The key to this stuff, as I've said time and time again, is combing out the under hair and getting to the, um, the guard hairs for the wings. This is a softer material on the Rogue. Uh, a lot of the flies are twitched through the runs. So this um, wing, being a divided wing, will lay down and then stand back out with the twitching that you do. And we put a fairly heavy wing on this, so you're going to have, you know, a fairly decent sized head. You just can't get away from it if you want to get this material seated properly. So I'm going to put, you know, several wraps there and really get that pulled down. Okay? So I've got it that far. Now I'm going to come in with my scissors, cut it as close as I can. Obscuring the view there, sorry. Bring in my cautery tool, clean it up a little further. Leave them just a little bit stick out so I get a decent taper. Put a few more wraps on here. Normally you would reserve for the end of the fly. So now I'm going to turn this a little bit. Because I want you to see we're going to take this material and divide out equal amounts. Okay. Doesn't hurt to wet your fingers and get this stuff a little bit wet just to keep it apart. Now I'm going to bring the thread around in between those two or three wraps. Now well, let's go four. Okay. That wing set out there. Pull this one around. I'm going to come around behind it. Normally I do this at an angle where I can see it. I'm trying to do it so you guys can see it. I'm going to put, you know, about three wraps on there or four. Okay. So I've got those divided. Put a little whip finish on there. Okay, a big whip finish on there. I'm going to 
come in with my scissors now and do a little cleanup or my cautery tool depending on where the hairs are. Careful not to get your cautery tool in close to the base of your wing there and just shear your wing off. Okay, so there's a juicy bug, old school rogue fly.